I'm here with the defensive back Manny Assam and to my right here offensive lineman Seamus O'Neill and I'm going to begin with Manny. 8-4 and four last year again, another playoff appearance for the New Hampshire Wildcats. Why is this program so consistent? Well, we're, we're, we're a family that likes to win and um, winning is very, 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 very big in our books and uh, every year if we're not winning it's, it's like the season's a failure. So we take pride in working hard, doing the little things right, you know what I mean? Just if you go to the weight room and you finish a workout, you know, what I mean? take an extra 30 minutes, you know, get a little extra work in, and it's also about having a good, a good mindset because your mindset is going to what is going to drive you through the entire season. And uh, making the playoffs is is something that we've made a tradition at UNH, and uh, we want to continue that tradition until this program, you know, dies. <laughs> now you guys have to replace some familiar faces on defense: Alan Busby and Jared Smith, and especially Matt Evans. Who are some of the guys that? are competing that will be competing at camp that you're looking to see step into those roles this year yeah, yeah those are those are very very big losses but we have a lot of young guys that are excited to play you know what i mean we have linebackers like especially our front seven you know what i mean we have linebackers like akil anderson and shane mcnilly who actually got some playing time last season so he he, he got his feet wet so he's ready to go and 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 akil is a kid that loves football and, and he loves to hit and I'm very excited to see him play. And if you go to D lineman, you know we have Julian Turner, we have Rashida Ma, and those kids are those kids are like freaks. You know what I mean? Those <laughs> kids are, are are freaks, and I can't wait. I can't wait to see those kids play. And they're excited about football, and that's that's what's that's the biggest 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 thing about 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 winning and and plugging in a young guy that that wants to get the job done. And speaking of the defensive line and Jared Smith, he got drafted by the yeah. Seattle Seahawks this yep. year in the seventh round of the NFL draft. How exciting was it to see someone on your defense get drafted into the NFL? Well, you know, playing with Jared, Jared's a, a very emotional player. So to see him get drafted, I even I felt for him, and I know he wanted it very, very much. And uh, Jared's Jared's gonna do very well in the NFL because he has he has the right the right mindset going into the NFL, and we're excited for him. We we can't wait to see him play. You know what I mean? And he kind of put New Hampshire on the map, so you know what I mean? Shout out New Hampshire. Thanks, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure hopefully he's tuning in today yep, and saw yep. that. So, uh, <laughs> speaking of the defense, you guys you gave up quite a bit of points per game last year. What has the emphasis been this offseason to cut down on that number? Just just doing the little things right, you know what I mean? Just doing little things, you know what I mean? Just having better angles to the ball, you know what I mean? Working on our tackling, our man technique, you know what I mean? And we made some changes on defense this year that that showed that it's going to be very, we're going to have a very special defense this year, you know what I mean? And it showed that in spring ball, and I can't wait, you know what I mean? Our secondary is excited, you know what I mean? You're putting more on, a, on an island for them to show your, showcase your skills. And uh, it's, this year is, is it's a year for the defense to just show that we're men, you know what I mean? It's about being a man and, 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 and having pride in what we do. And I, I'm excited for our defense, I'm excited for our entire team, and we're going to do some big things this year. Well, thanks a lot, Manny. Enjoy yeah. the rest of Media Day now over here to Seamus. A lot of new young guys coming into this offense, same result. Why is this offense so consistent? Uh, it's because of our preparation. The way we practice, we practice with a purpose. We get a lot of reps, and it kind of shows on the game day. I mean, when we throw guys in there, they execute our offense, and it's just because when we practice, everybody who's thrown in there, they know exactly what to do, and our coaches kind of stress that to practice with a purpose and know your role. Like, you, know, you need to know the offense, and... It just shows how many points we can put up. Last year, you guys used two quarterbacks at times, both kind of due to injury. Uh, both were freshmen in Andy Valis and Sean Goldrich. They're both coming into this offseason competing once again for the starting role. Talk about that competition, what it's been like, and what does each quarterback bring to the table? I mean, both of them are great quarterbacks. Obviously, you see Andy, when he got thrown in there, he executed the offense perfectly. And when Goldie's in there, he does the same thing. Andy's more of that explosive type of running quarterback. He can put the ball in special places. And same with Goldie. He's a great athlete in his own way. He can throw the ball. He puts it in the perfect place. And if you put both of them, like you could put either one on the field, and they just can put up points. Now, two explosive players you have on that offense, Nico Storetti and R.J. Harris. Talk about... The, talk about what your expectations for them this year and what is it like watching them make those big plays all over the field? I mean, our expectation as a whole offense is to be better than we were last year. And I expect both of them to have huge seasons. I mean, you can give them the ball and it just makes our job as an offensive line easier, knowing that if the ball's in their hands, they could have the chance to score on every play. And it's very nice. Like, I mean, you see Nico, he likes to jump over people and it's, it's actually really exciting to watch. It's kind of scary because you want to keep him on the field, but he's that type of kid who can bring that explosion. Now you guys lose a couple of members on your offensive line this year, in particular Chris Zarkowski. 
who are some of the guys at camp that will be competing to get on the starting job on the offensive line? Well, we got Ricky Archer coming back this year, and he's a huge person to be back. He's a very good player. And we also have Sean Ryan coming in at left guard, and we have younger guys competing. But, I mean, as a whole, I'm not too worried about it because our communication, we saw it in the spring. We saw guys step up when it needed to be. Sean's been in there in the games. And as a whole offensive line, I mean, it's just the communication's there. And when we want to play together, it's, it's perfect. Well, Seamus Manny looking for 10th straight year into the playoffs, the New Hampshire Wildcats.